Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we are at a new version of Google Chrome Web Browser. Version 103 is now available for the stable channel, so for everybody. So um, if you're a user of Google Chrome, what's new in this new version? Well, first of all, to see if you have the latest version, simply go to your Google Chrome browser. On the upper right corner, you will see three vertical dots, then go into help and to about Google Chrome. Here you will see it update to 103.0.5060.53 as of today, June the 21st, 2022. So this is the latest version of the Chrome browser and it has one feature that might be of interest for people that navigate the web. And one of them is the fact that you can now have possibly faster download times for web pages that you visit. Um, there was an implementation before of this. When you went on a link, there was what we call a prefetch, meaning that there was some code being transferred in case that's where you're going so that it actually accelerates this um, the access to the web page you want to go to. Now, it was kind of backed off a little bit, and most of the burden of going to a web page was sitting on your own PC with the client side, meaning that you had a cache of some of the web pages so that things were faster. Now, there's something called 103 early ints HTTP response code. This, and by the way, the number 103 has nothing to do with the version number of Chrome. Uh, this, what it does is prefetch even more of the page that you might want to visit. So when you hover over a link, it's going to prefetch some of the link. And if you click on it, it should actually already be there much faster because a big part of it might already be in the system, already downloaded for you, so that it's easier and faster to actually work. So that's one of the big features that um, promises faster page loads, load times and um, could be interesting to do some tests like this. I haven't done tests with the different browsers uh, opening different web pages in, in you know my unofficial tests. I haven't done that in a long time to see if one web browser is faster than the other. Um, there's also a change that means web apps can now use the local fonts that the browser is using, which means that the apps will, of course, follow the same lettering system, the same fonts that your um, browser actually uses automatically. Um, there is going to be an improvement in some of the different um, security features of Chrome due to machine learning. Uh, one of them is that it's, through its machine learning experience on the web, going to try to block some of the notifications that could pop up from malicious websites. Also, it might use this uh, to learn a little more which websites are actually not to go and visit, which has been a feature in Chrome for a long time. It's just that they're trying to tweak it and make it a little better as time goes by. Uh, the other thing that is added in here is the new feature of AVIF image file format that will now be one of the standards for Google Chrome. Now, AVIF is a very efficient um, JPEG, if you want. It is much better than JPEG, uh, makes files smaller and you know, tries to keep its quality up, of course. So this is all in Google trying to push this new file format to see if it can get some momentum and maybe one day replace JPEG or, you know, or GIF or whatever. So uh, that's pretty much what's in here. For the rest, uh, of course, security updates, and we're going to talk about that in the uh, next video. A lot of bug fixes also at the same time. So check it out. Uh, this is the new version of Google Chrome. Simply go to the every right corner, three or vertical dots, help about Google Chrome if you want to check out if you have the latest version. 
And as of today, June the 21st, you should be at 103.0.5060.53. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.